It's Dan here, and once again, we're back at Ma's Garage, and today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite shots, the airmail. I've got a ghost airmail game that I use as my practice routine all the time. So let's get this set up and get to tossing some better airmails. All right, so I got the board set up now. The distance from the front edge of that board to the front edge of that board is 27 feet. I've got the pucks on them to bracket them in. Now we need to pick the bags that I think I'm gonna airmail the best with. Lately I've been doing really well with the green vipers. So I got my airmail bags, now I need blocker bags. Okay, just get two with opposite color. All right, so I've got a set of four bags that I love to air melt with, and I've got another set of four for blockers, two for each board. Next up, we're gonna need a score tower. Now we're set. Now we're ready to understand the rules. All right, the basic rules for the ghost air melt game. It's the first one to 21. You're playing the ghost, so you play it by yourself. Four bags per round. Each bag's worth three points. It has to be a clean air melt. It's cancellation scoring, and you can set the ghost at whatever you want. 25%, 50%, 75%, or even 100 if you want. All right, so now we're gonna set the blockers. We wanna have a standard place we set it. I recommend about one hand link down. I usually set the ghost at 50%, so I'm fighting for six points every round just to do a wash. This game is about getting better at air mail, so an incentive is if I miss an air mail and I leave it on the back just like that with an opportunity to drag it, and I drag it in, that's as good as three additional points to include the air mail that I went in, so that too would be six. All right, we're all set up, we know the rules. Let's toss a game, see how we do.
All right, well, that was a great game. It was a good training session. If you liked it, please subscribe and stay tuned for some more great content.